Tommy Shelby is the most stylish fictional character of the last decade. His tweed suits, dramatic overcoats, and signature newsboy cap have inspired men across the world to dress up and take an interest in vintage clothing. But the problem with Peaky Blinders is that it's set in the 1920s. So if we want to dress like Tommy Shelby today, without looking cringe, we need to modernize these outfits. In this video, I'm going to analyze the character's style and make some suggestions for what he might have worn if he were around today. This way, you can get inspired by the coolest parts of Tommy's style without looking like you're playing dress up or trying to copy him. But first, we need to understand why clothing is so important for the Peaky Blinders. The first part of looking like Tommy Shelby is embracing the idea of dressing up to the nines at all times. The Shelby family is a working class family that rose to prominence through their gangster activities and their businesses. So they use clothing to indicate their newfound status in the city of Birmingham. This becomes particularly important as Tommy gets more ambitious and eventually becomes a politician. So the first part of looking like a Peaky Blinder is taking your clothing seriously at all times and understanding the power of your personal presentation. Now that's clear, let's start off with the suits. Here's how to get suited up like a modern day Peaky Blinder. If what you see in Peaky Blinders is to be believed, it's basically never summer in England. That's pretty true actually. Tommy consistently wears heavyweight wool fabrics with a natural texture like flannel and tweed. As for colors, gray and navy blue are his main choices, which are still go-tos for well-dressed men today. If you want to find a suit that is authentic to what the character really wore, Check out the brand Garrison Taylors, which was actually founded by the show's creator, Stephen Knight. But these authentic style heavyweight suits will be way too warm in the summer. So during the warmer seasons, you can look to a lighter weight wool fabric that still has some texture in a gray or a blue. In terms of patterns, Tommy is a big fan of pinstripes. This look has many associations with gangsters from that era, but it still looks stylish today. Tommy is also a big fan of the vest, also known as the waistcoat in England. Whether you choose to wear a waistcoat is totally up to you. It's still in fashion, but it doesn't suit everybody. If you want to stand out in your suit more than a regular guy, something like a double-breasted suit could be a better option. Tommy sticks to a very masculine, regimented color palette. These are the colors I would recommend to 99% of men. White, pale blue, navy, gray, and black. At times, Tommy uses accessories to add a pop of color like red or purple, but wearing the same base tones with all of his outfits gives him a recognizable look. Tommy also plays with the color pale blue a lot because it emphasizes his most striking feature, which are his piercing blue eyes. But aside from blue and white, Tommy is not a fan of lighter colors. That reflects the mood of the show and of Tommy's dark personality. So if you want to look more serious, choosing colors like navy, Grey and black will help achieve that look. And it still applies today that in our human nature, we take people more seriously if they're dressed in a color like navy than a pastel pink. And as I said in the intro of this video, the Shelby family knew the importance of clothing when it comes to creating a reputation. In the show, we see Tommy wearing a few different styles of shirt collar that are different from what you would normally see today. If you wear this type of collar, you will give your outfits an old money look and it will stand out. Notice the club collar, it has rounded edges and it was a very popular style between the 1920s and the 1960s and it's particularly associated with Ivy League universities and the private school scene in the UK. Although they are no longer the norm, you could still wear a club collar without looking old fashioned. Club collars also often feature a contrasting collar, for example, where the collar will be white and the rest of the shirt will be blue or blue and white stripe. For a good example of a modern day club collar shirt, look at this one from Polo Ralph Lauren. Pair that with a gray flannel suit and a burgundy necktie and you have a modern day version of a Tommy Shelby outfit. A key part of the Tommy Shelby look is wearing boots with a suit. If you want to stand out from the crowd this winter, this combination is for you. Tommy wore toe cap leather boots in dark brown and black or sometimes two-tone leather. The boots are a sign of his working class roots, but he also wears them for practical reasons when walking around the industrial city of Birmingham. The boots give the suit a rugged, masculine edge that's perfect for winter seasons. So wearing a pair of high quality leather boots is a great addition to your outfit that still works in the modern era. 
Another crucial element to the Tommy Shelby look is the long, dark overcoat. What's important here is to get one that's long enough that it will drape behind you in the wind. Tommy chose dark colours, generally black, which works with both grey and navy suits. The long black coat also creates a serious and imposing silhouette, which works perfectly for the character of Tommy Shelby. One of Tommy's black coats has a velvet collar, which is very much of its time and it has that kind of flashiness that a gangster would have enjoyed. You could definitely wear one of these today, but it is going to be quite flamboyant. Now we come to the accessories. Here's how to accessorize like a Peaky Blinder. Tommy has some interesting accessories, some of which are outdated, but some of which you could still wear today. Let's start off with the ties. Unlike other characters like his brother Arthur, Tommy wears a modern day necktie. And there are some common themes to the types of ties that he likes. Tommy's ties are generally subtle, but not necessarily plain. Sometimes they're striped, sometimes there's a motif or a medallion. You could wear any of these ties today and attract compliments without anybody knowing you are paying secret tribute to the Peaky Blinders. If you wanted to give your outfits a more obviously vintage edge, you could add a tie bar in a Art Deco style just like what Tommy wore. One accessory from Tommy that is very outdated now is the pocket watch. Now in the 1920s when the show is set, was the first decade that men, civilian men, actually started wearing wristwatches. But the pocket watch was still very much in fashion. Peaky Blinders did revive an interest in wearing a pocket watch among men, but I have no doubt that Tommy would just wear a regular wristwatch if he were around today. But you could still replicate the style of his pocket watch with your wristwatch by choosing something that has a traditional look. When his jacket is removed, you'll also notice that Tommy is wearing sleeve garters. These do have quite a strong look that could work for certain occasions, but might be considered overly formal and flashy for everyday wear. Another important accessory for Tommy are his gloves. The black leather gloves are not only essential in the winter, but they also contribute to his dark, and intimidating image as a gangster. Now I decided to leave the cap to last and for good reason. The newsboy cap is an essential part of the Peaky Blinders look. But should you really wear one today? Well, since the show's popularity, the cap has seen a massive resurgence in popularity all across the world. Whether you want to wear one or not is totally up to you, but I will say one word of caution. If the rest of your outfit is very similar to what Tommy wore, then adding the cap will bring you into dress up slash cosplay territory, which in my opinion just isn't very cool. I think it's much better to take inspiration from the character and then make his style your own. So I would either wear the rest of my outfit like Tommy and ditch the cap, or wear the cap with a less reminiscent look. Or you could perhaps wear it with a Tommy inspired casual outfit like a white Henley shirt. Tommy Shelby's style is a combination of British tailoring, working class traditions and sartorial gangster flair. When we bring his looks up to date, we can get inspired by the colors, the textures, and the subtle details of his aesthetic. This can be especially useful if you admire the character of Tommy Shelby and the traits that people associate with him. But these videos are all about inspiration. I don't encourage anyone to try and look like anyone else. Just select different ideas from different sources to create your own look. I hope this video has been useful to you and given you some ideas that you wouldn't have got from any other YouTube video. For more style inspiration, please check out my video here on Don Draper and how he would have dressed if he were alive today. Until the next one guys, by the order of the Peaky Blinders, thank you for watching.